Hi students, welcome back to Chakravarti e classroom. See students, it seems to be festival of jobs in our country nowadays, isn't it? Recently we had many notifications starting with the SBI clerical, I am telling you. SBI clerical notification was there with the thousands of vacancies. After that, SSC CGL notification was there very, very recently. 20,000 odd vacancies are there. For the first time in the history of SSC, they have come out with 20,000 vacancies, CGL vacancies. Okay. Then after that, uh, there is another very, very good news for all the students who are preparing for various bank exams. Golden opportunity. One more golden opportunity is there. You must have guessed this one. Yes, I am talking about uh, SBI PO notification 2022. Great news, students. Golden opportunity to utilize. Okay. SBI has come out with the uh, PO notification for 2022 with 1,673 vacancies, including the backlog vacancies. In today's session, we are going to discuss very important points of the notification because there are some major changes in the examination. I will tell you one by, why, uh, one by one, two to three very important changes are there. Let's focus on the notification students. Some very, very important points we are going to discuss on this notification. See, the first thing, very, very important thing is, uh, now this is three-phase examination. Phase 1, phase 2 and uh, phase 3. Phase 1 is as usual, that is prelims. Phase 2 is mains. Uh, they have introduced the phase 3 for psychometric test, group exercise and the uh, interview. Okay. Now, the major changes. One of the major changes is this one only, students. Total, this is here. Three phase examination, phase one, phase two, phase three. We discuss uh, phase one, phase two, phase three in a detailed manner. But before that one, we'll go for the important date students. Here you see very, very importantly, the process, uh, online registration, including editing, modification and uh, of application by the candidates. Of course, this is starting from 22-9 today, starting from 22-9 and the last date is uh, 12th October 2022, next month 12th. Don't be in a hurry, don't fill up the application form today only, just wait for one or two days. Meanwhile, you need to go through the notification word by word, that's very important students, I'm telling you, <coughs> excuse me, word by word you have to go through because I'm focusing only on some important points, okay. This is the first thing and uh, your phase one examination is going to be conducted in the month of December. They have given the dates also 17, 18, 19, 20th. Okay, almost how many days are there? So, this is September only, October, November, December. Almost 85 to 90 day time is there. Should be very, very careful about this one. 90 days. So, 90 days is it enough or sufficient for students to prepare for preliminary examination? If you ask me, I can say yes. Okay, if you are a beginner, very beginner, it is difficult, I am telling you, but you are already in the preparation. For you, it is not a big issue. For that reason only, students, I have been telling you one thing, don't wait for the notifications to come. As it is, definitely notifications are going to be out because manpower requirement is there for all the organizations, isn't it? Whatever the machinization may be, how much you computerize the organization also, at least to maintain the computers, you need manpower, isn't it? Without manpower, nothing is going to happen. You take it for granted in our country for another 15-20 years, I am telling you the pattern will be the same. For central government and state government organizations, there will be competitive exams that is going to be continued because I have been in this field for quite a long time. This is my 25th year. Okay. So, years to come also, you can expect the vacancy in the government sector. Okay. Right. Now, uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, preliminary examination. Then phase 2 is mains examination. That will be tentatively Jan or February 2023. So, you have to start your preparation for both prelims and mains simultaneously students because very very lucky thing, one of the very good things is that uh, prelims and mains syllabus more or less by and large that is same. That is one of the advantages for us. Okay. So, keep this target mains also. Then after that uh, phase 3. Phase 3 will be conducted February or March. Then declaration of final results March 2023 onwards 
then download of the call letters for pre that's not for you not for you in the sense those who are eligible for pre examination training they go for that one march 2023 that means maximum by april or may you will be in sbi you have to start your preparation with the confident students as far as the number of vacancies is concerned here it is 1673 including the backlog vacancies right you have to keep your target in your mind wholeheartedly you have to think in this way that i am going to be in sbi by next year may by may 2023 i will be in sbi you have to give your in, uh, the self instructions instructions to yourself your mind will be tuned for that one and by the way students your confidence should be in that way always you have to think that one vacancy is reserved for you i have been telling this one in all my classes isn't it now 1673 vacancies are there if anybody asks you you have to tell only 1672 vacancies are there in the job market you have to uh, tell one one you have to tell one less vacancy one less number why that is so you know that one that one vacancy is reserved for you isn't it students you start with that confidence i am telling you because more than 13500 of my students are working in various banks and other central government organizations across the country they all thought in that way they all thought that one vacancy was reserved for them with that confidence you have to start your preparation okay right now going back here students these are the important dates and coming to the number of vacancies i told you just now 1673 but it doesn't matter for me for you that for that matter right isn't it because one vacancy is yours you are fighting for one vacancy only so how many vacancies are uh, are there whatever the number may be how does it affect your confidence isn't it okay so anyway 1673 then students very very important thing first thing i told you major change total three phase examination third phase is introduced newly okay next uh, you go for educational qualification as it is this is there no change in this one okay how they have done they have just uh, given one uh, additional thing of course in the previous notifications also uh, it was there they have given in this way even the final year graduation students also eligible to apply for that one it's very very good thing for the final year students provided your age is permitting for that one we'll go to age as the next point but remember students here one very very important thing they have not asked for any percentage here not asked for any percentage you should be a graduate that's it graduation in any discipline from a recognized university or any equivalent qualification recognized by government of india central government of course right those who are in the final year or final semester of their graduation may also apply for that one provided age should support you that is one thing second thing is that uh, you should produce the certificate mentioning that your graduation uh, completed by 31st december 2022 that's very important okay so in your physical copy of your provisional or memo it should be mentioned that your degree completed by this date this is very very important at least on the website of the concerned institute where you have studied that should mention that your graduation completed by this date that's very very important okay so another important thing here is that even the final year graduates can apply for that one that is one thing next thing students as far as the age is concerned okay right they have given clear description here you see note 1 2 3 you please read it by yourself because explaining each and every point is a little difficult thing here so uh, everything is mentioned here coming to the age criteria students generally in the notification they give in a very very clear way very comprehensive way see here the cut off date they have calculated on 1 4 age on 1 4 clearly remember you should not be below 21 years and not above 31 years 21 exactly accepted 30 exactly accepted but not 
beyond 30, not beyond 30, not above 30 and not below 21. Minimum age is 21, maximum age is 30. Okay. And they give the dates also because it is being calculated as on 1-4-2022. Remember, you must have been born not later than 1-4-2001. It should be before that only, okay? Not later than this date and not earlier than 2-4-1992, okay? Dates are very important, but it is exactly on 1-4-2001, exactly on 2-4-1992 that is accepted. That is accepted. Got the clarity? Right. This is regarding the age and coming down, age relaxation, of course, that is there for SCST 5 years, OBC as usual 3 years, they have not changed and physically challenged persons, different categories they have given. You see that one. Okay. This is about the age relaxation. Then coming to, uh, these are all about uh, uh, disabilities and all these things. I shouldn't say disability. It is physically challenged. Now, from here, this is very, very important. Students here, we focus. Focus on the selection procedure. Previously, that was only two phase. Now, this is three phase, phase one, phase two, phase three. Now, you see, as far as phase one is concerned, there is no change. It is like the previous year or the before that year, every year they have been conducting the prelims in this way only. That is phase one this time. Clearly, they have given English, quant and the reasoning. English, 30 questions, quant, 35, reasoning, 35. No change in that one. And another very important thing is that uh, there is no sectional cutoff. Even previously also that was not there. But it's a very, very good thing for some students. Uh, uh, for example, out of these three subjects, if you are not okay with any one of the subjects, that's okay. Suppose, for example, you can do reasoning and quant very well. And you are not so confident about English, but still no problem. If you excel in reasoning and quant, you may be going for uh, mains examination depending upon the competition. That is so with any other two subjects. Okay, so that is one of the advantages, but I advise you to focus on all the three subjects properly. Okay, no sectional cutoff. This is one thing, but timing is there. Time cutoff is there. So English 30 questions you have to do in 20 minutes. Uh, quant also 20 minutes, even reasoning also 20 minutes, total 100 questions must be done in one hour and each question carries one mark. And of course, there is negative mark for the wrong answers. Penalization is there. That is 1 by 4th or 0 0.25 mark. You should be very, very careful. Then after prelims students, because prelims not much to explain here because no change is there in that. After prelims, uh, who will go for the mains? Just uh, as usual, they have given the number of vacancies into 10 times. Those mean 1,673 into 10, that is so, 16,730. These, these many students will go for mains. Now, in the mains, major change is there. Okay, another major change in the main students. Ha, you see. Mains is called a phase 2. Phase 2 in two parts uh, that is objective as well as descriptive like previously also. But here, here the distribution of questions, distribution of marks has been changed when you compare to the previous year. Reasoning number of questions changed, data interpretation and analysis changed, general uh, awareness including banking and uh, economic awareness even that is also changed. Now you see here they have given 40 questions students in reasoning they have given 40 questions. It is less than the previous one. Previously how many questions were there? Let's go for that also. Here I have given the previous one. Yes. Previously it was 45 questions 60 marks last year. Okay. Then 35, 60 for data interpretation and analysis. General economy it is only 40 questions were there. 40, 40 and here English language 35 and 40. Now you see this year what are the changes here? Reasoning only 40 questions. Okay. Instead of 60 they have given 50 marks. Of course reasoning and computer aptitude. Then coming to data analysis and interpretation only 30 questions this time. And here 50 last time it was more. 
now economy ah now you see general awareness increased 50 questions last time it was only 40 questions wasn't it 40 yes or no just go for that one previous year previous year one second right previous year ah it was 40 only 40 and 40 but this year they have increased this one by 10 questions 50 questions were there. So, my guessing is that these 50 questions means the increased 10 questions must be from banking, economy and financial issues. General awareness may not be increased and means that is current affairs may not be increased but these three must be increased because recently also in one of the news SBI has come out with this one two months ago only they have given the hint that the person the candidate who is getting selected for PO must be having clear idea of contemporary issues of banking awareness financial issues as well as uh, this one economic issues probably they may increase that number and finally English 35 and 40 as it is now students total how many questions are there 155 questions and 200 marks here also there is no sectional cutoff as far as marks are concerned there is no minimum qualifying mark is required section wise either at prelims or mains you don't worry about that one but the time 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 cutoff is there for the sections here 50 minutes 45 45 and 40 now total time is 3 hours but this is not the composite time the time is as per the section very very important thing and after that after this objective type on the same day itself same day they will conduct a descriptive test descriptive test that is english language of course that is letter writing and essay writing it's a must you have to qualify in this one also separately now here you see they have allocated maximum 50 marks for that one and 30 minutes time is given some of the students have asked me previously sir is it necessary to qualify in this one compulsory yes that is a must you have to qualify you have to get the minimum marks in this one otherwise even if you if you have excelled in phase two also it is not going to be considered you must qualify in the descriptive test separately remember that one and by the way students the preliminary examination is only screening test the marks uh, which you are going to get in prelims examination are phase one those are not going to be added for the merit list Merit list is prepared only based on phase 2 including objective and descriptive, phase 2 and phase 3 also. This time they have included phase 3, a major change for you. How they go for the normalization, I will tell you. But before that students, what I am going to do, I will post or I will record a fantastic video after 2 to 3 days based on the strategy. Subject wise, we go for for example, you take reasoning at prelims level how to prepare and at mains level how to go for that one. By the way, as I told you, don't prepare for prelims separately and mains separately. As the syllabus is by and large same, only the difficulty level is changed. It is better to prepare simultaneously. How to go for reasoning, uh, quantitative aptitude, of course, in uh, Means only data analysis, data interpretation is there, including caselets and many, many, many things are there. I give you the right strategy for all the four sections separately for prelims and the mains. Of course, in our course, what we have done, we have revamped the course. We have streamlined the course of SBI because the standard has been increased very, very high, particularly for the last two to three years. The questions are mind blowing. Uh, for example, you take reasoning questions, puzzle, seating arrangement, shillaism, of course, okay. Then input and output, assumptions, arguments, conclusions, courses of action, cause and effect, uh, the puzzles mixed with relations and uh, ranking and uh, puzzle and seating arrangement mixed questions. They are giving the questions at CAT level, particularly puzzle and seating arrangement. So, I have revamped that one. I have added many, many new videos for that one new standard questions okay if anybody is interested you can download our mobile app chakravarti 
classroom or visit our website chakravartisar.com anyway come back to this one students this is about uh, uh, this is phase 2 and uh, see here anyway ah, this is as i told you just now i told you, you know, there is no sectional cutoff but penalization is there at the mains level also 1 by 4th of the allocated mark is going to be deducted for the wrong answers okay next phase 3 you see students here very very important here now phase 3 category wise merit list will be drawn on the basis of the aggregate marks scored in phase 2 that is main examination there will be no sectional cutoff just now i told you candidates numbering up to 3 times 1673 into 3 times these many candidates are going to be taken for the phase 3 examination in phase 3 what will be there psychometric test okay in phase 3 psychometric test that means that comprises of uh, what is that one group exercise now you see students here they have used the new word group exercise of course that is interview these psychometric tests must be performed in presence of the interview panel of course what would be this group exercise students generally group exercise means as far as uh, my knowledge is concerned group discussion is part of the group exercise one of the group exercises is group discussion along with group discussion probably they may test the candidate's skills with uh, some other methods also maybe case study maybe they like like uh, uh, they are conducting for management students uh, or a case analysis may be there we don't know that one they have not mentioned anything about that one but very clear indication is that along with group discussion there may be some other psychometric tests also then followed by interview interview is for 30 marks and uh, group exercise for 20 total 50 marks are there all right then finally students how they go for uh, and one more sentence you see the minimum qualifying mark will be decided by the bank for this one separately you have to qualify in group discussion and the uh, interview also okay now some students have some doubts about this one final selection sir how they go for the final selection as i told you just now phase one is only qualifying test forget about that one forget about that one means after phase one only you have to go to phase two anyway it's only screening test the marks you got in phase two objective type four sections plus descriptive collectively plus the marks you got in group exercise and interview based on all these things they prepare the final list with the normalization method they normalize that one to 100 points or 100 marks. How the normalization is done? Uh, what is the weightage of uh, uh, marks for the different questions? I will post different videos, separate video for that one so that a little explanation is required for that one. Overall, I can say here students. Now, you can understand even from this one also the basic idea. For mains examination, maximum marks are 250. All right. Then group exercise. 50. Then this is 200 plus 50 descriptive plus 50 total 300. This 300 will be normalized to 100. So, on 100 points, 100 marks, they will give you a rank there. Okay. Now, here in this 100, 75 will be for mains examination, then 25 for group exercise they have divided that one into 75 and 25 ratio in any way i'm going to post a separate video for that one so that even a beginner can understand what is this normalization process okay next you go for uh, these are very important points students actually then other things are the main dates we have dis discussed age criteria we have discussed educational qualification and the selection process this is important actually apart from that others are normal here you can read it from the notification that's enough that's enough because uh, this session is dedicated only to make the students aware of the new not notification actually the registration process has started today only and the last date is i think 12th on 12th only 12th of uh, next month after two to three days you apply for that one and students remember uh, Preparing for mains examination particularly 
prelims or mains for SBI examination, you should adapt a different strategy because the level of the examination is very advanced nowadays. I'm telling you students, right? Very, very advanced questions are there. You have to prepare in a very systematic way. Students will be asking one more thing, sir, uh, in how many months I can crack this SBI examination? That depends upon your de dedication, students. But uh, I can't generalize that one. But overall, I can say it must take uh, six to eight months to crack this examination. Because first you need to focus completely on the basics. Then you need to go for the timing that will come to you by practice. I'll tell you one by one, one by one, what exactly the strategy should be. Particularly for beginners, what is the strategy? And for the students who have been preparing for this examination for like a, a quite a long time, what is the strategy for them? I'm going to discuss all the things in the next video. By the way, students, in my course also, I've given the strategy for beginners, strategy for already students who are in the preparation. You just watch those videos and regularly on YouTube also, I'm going to post some videos. See, students, finally, I'll tell you one thing. Cracking SBI PO examination without proper guidance is a little difficult thing I'm telling you. Not impossible, but little difficult thing. You have to take the guidance from experts to go for that one. I'll meet you in the next video, students, with the strategy and other things which are related to SBI PO. One by one, we will discuss. Thank you so much.